Hey guys, Rexasaur here, and welcome to Update Monday on the 12th of July 2021. Today's a good day because England didn't win. <laughs> I'm just happy that it's over, if I'm honest. I've had enough of football. <laughs> I've just had enough of it. It's bullshit and stupid. It just makes me stress for no reason. Um, yeah. It's just. I'm happy that they lost because the fans didn't deserve to win, basically. They're such cunts, basically. It's so bad. Like, you go on Twitter, you see what's going on, and you're just like, these people are behaving in this way, and they think it's okay to do so. Um, so they definitely didn't deserve to win that because of that. And it sucks because the team were really good. <laughs> but hey, it's only played really well throughout the entire tournament, so they deserve their win. Um... Yeah, so that's that football done. Next football will be in December of next year, apparently. That's when the World Cup is, which is unusual, but it's in Qatar, so that's probably why. Because money. Yeah. Um, what else happened? So I've been away for two weeks, and by away, I mean I didn't do an update Monday last week. That's all that I mean by that. I wasn't. I didn't go anywhere because I can't go anywhere. So what happened? Uh, quite a few things. Played a few games. Um, that's what you do. The Steam Summer Sale was a thing, which means I spent an ab abhorrent amount of money. I didn't really. Like, I did, in the scheme of things. If you look at my three-year history of Steam purchases through sales, you will see that I spent no money in the last three years except for this Summer Sale. Because, effectively, I've been a good boy up until now. Um, I bought a load of games. I'm actually, like pretty okay with the games that I bought. These are games that either have been on my radar for a while or that look really cool. Um, I bought a lot of World War II games and I don't know how much of that is because of uh, the fact that for movie night we are currently watching through Band of Brothers, the HBO series. Um, we watched episode 3 and 4 yesterday, obviously 1 and 2 the week before. Bloody hell it's so good. Um, really good show. It's it's gritty whilst also being kind of humorous in aspects, but it, it really does portray um, at least what I imagine would be the life of a soldier in in that era and in that kind of atmosphere. Um, it's good. It's got a really, really, really good balance of light-hearted moments with prop like danger, like action and life-threatening, and seeing the um, effects of war on soldiers, really, at that time. I mean, you can never really, unless you're in that situation, you can never really appreciate or understand what they're going through. But I feel like that show does a really good job of, of portraying that. So, it's good. It was a good suggestion. I'm really enjoying it. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I've got three more weeks of it because there's ten series, ten series, ten, ten episodes. Um, so we're going to keep watching that and that'll be fun. What else has been going on in my life? Um, not much, if I'm really honest. We had I was supposed to see my brother on Thursday yesterday, uh, last week, but my uh, someone at my father's workplace tested positive. Um, so we obviously couldn't see each other in case of. Uh, everything came back negative in the end, but you can never be too safe. So... It sucks I didn't get to see him or my future sister-in-law, but uh, the, the, that is the way it is, and I'm, it's, it's, it's all good. Um, I ended up playing some tanks instead, so yay. What else? I've been playing a bunch of Assassin's Creed 2 again. I took a massive break from it for no reason, and then I've come back to it and I'm like, damn, this game is good. Um, which is exactly the same feeling that I had when I started playing it. So, might finish that this week probably maybe it's kind of a it's kind of a long game whilst also being a short game um the segments are really nice the way that it's played out i'm at the i'm definitely nearing the end i'm like two or three sequences from the final bit i still don't know whether or not i want 100 percent the game in terms of getting all the achievements because one of them is collect all 100 feathers and that's just going to be a ball lake unless there is a map at the end that gives you the location of them, otherwise I'm going to have to 
Otherwise, I'm going to have to see a guide for it because there's no way I'm going to be able to find every single fucking feather. <laughs> the worst is I've been collecting them as I go, so I've got like 35 out of 100, and it's just like if I go through, if it's if it is the case where I have to find a guide for it, well, it'd be fucking annoying because. I'm going to be like, where the fuck is this feather? And it's like, oh fuck, I've already collected it. I'm not going to know because it's not going to tell me. Anyway, that's video games for you. Um, yeah. That's a really loud car. You can probably hear it. I've got my window open because it's quite hot. Um, what else has been going on? Like, not a huge amount. Which is, you know, the usual, which is also why I missed update Monday last... Technically, I forgot it was Monday last week, which is why I didn't do it. Um, also, with the football, I haven't done any of the Lord of the Rings readings. Um, it's not because of, kind of, that, and it's just I'm really not feeling great at the moment. Um, but hey-ho, that's what happens when, you know... Everything happens, I guess. So, yeah. Fun times. Well, uh, that's everything from me. I've got nothing else going on. Just, yeah. I, I'm tempted, like... I play these games, and I'm tempted to, like, stream them. But then I'm like, I really don't want to. <laughs> because, like, as much as I like conversing with people, I really just, like, not. Which probably isn't healthy, but just really don't want to, if I'm honest. Um, we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, I've been playing it also, yeah, so one of the games I got was Euro Truck Simulator 2. It's a good game. Very chill. Very chill. Um, you get frustrated at, like, the poor driving, which I'm sure is completely realistic to how it would be in real life, which makes it the greatest simulator. Um, yeah, that's a lot of fun. And by a lot of fun, I mean it's just chill and there's no raging involved, which is always good. Um, what else? Yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys are all doing okay. Um, I've been watching a few streams here and there. Oh, I'll tell you something that's fucking annoying me. Talking about streams. This week, and I don't know why they decided this week, so many of the games that I want to play or have played and I'm looking forward to an update are having a patch tomorrow or Wednesday because so I've got Celeste of Crown of the Magister which is like a D&D &D TTRPG it's not a TTRPG um, just game um, similar to Baldur's Gate 3 um, which is getting a patch on Tuesday, so I've not been playing it because I knew that they were going to get like a big after launch patch. I was like, okay, yeah, I'll wait for that. And they're adding like a whole sorcerer class to it. I was like, you know what, that's cool. I'll wait until then to play the game. Last week, Baldur's Gate 3 announced that they were going to have a new update. It's not, it's it's content, it's, no, what, what? It's not content based. There is content in it, but it's like quality of life. A lot of like things are getting like expanded upon rather than new things added in um, that is also on the same fucking day tomorrow so I'm like fuck and then of course on Wednesday the new Warhammer 2 DLC drops and I'm like fuck's sake that's three games that require a lot of time to invest in they're all updating at the same fucking time what the fuck is this bullshit? Why can't you all coordinate and do it in like... What was great, right, is that Mass Effect Legendary Edition came out three weeks before Ratchet & Clank came out, which gave me three weeks to complete that, and I did. Literally the day before, or two days before Ratchet & Clank was delivered, I completed Mass Effect Trilogy. It was great, had a good time, had a time I watched two James Bond movies because I finished the game and didn't play it. Um, and then Ratchet Clan came out and I completed that and it was great. And then since Ratchet Clan's came out, I've been fucking awful. <laughs> it's just been so shit when I started playing Assassin's Creed. But it's like, it's, it's, it's crazy, man. Coordinate your shit, assholes. Um, anyway, I'm not mad. It's more content, it's more games. And there's lots of other shit, but hey-ho. 
Anyway, that's it. That's all I got. That was my final rant because everyone loves watching me rant. Apparently, um, yeah. Have a good one. Um, I hope that I will see you in someone's stream. If Cucumber's streaming, or Key streaming, or Dragonheart streaming. I know he streamed some Apex yesterday. I want to know it was that. I think it was Saturday. Um, but yeah, it's it's good just hanging out in your streams because it just gives me uh, not only entertainment to keep me going because I require a lot of entertainment apparently, like I'm constantly watching streams now, um, but it keeps me like, it keeps some noise going on and it also means I can interact with you guys, which is really nice. Um, but if you're not, then wait, I, I, I'm sure I'll find something else to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll see you probably in one of those streams. I might stream tomorrow, I might not, I really don't know. I really enjoy reading the book, but I don't know how I'm feeling to do that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next week, most likely. Bye-bye.